course, historically, these just would have been so soaked in water. And then uh, the water would have been boiled by heating hot rocks and dropping them into the water in a wooden container or a basketry container in some cases. Especially if you're starting with a horn that is more or less fresh so that it, it, it was harvested from the animal and then transported through trade and ends up in the hands of a horn worker. If you can get them in that form, then it's going to, you know, just soaking to rehydrate the outside and boiling it will produce pretty quick results. Uh, but the more they've been sitting around and drying out over the years, like the ones that we end up working with today, then uh, to add a little ammonia to the water helps in its penetration and probably helps to alter the protein, the keratin that these are actually made out of, like your fingernail, so that it becomes a little bit more flexible and malleable. So after, after a few days or a week, then they're already flexible enough that you can actually see them move. So these, these two have, are, are basically unmodified, except that they've been soaked. And, and so you can see that there's quite a bit of flexibility here where it's thin. And uh, you can see the whole thing kind of squishes out like that. So um, that, that's what we're after, and uh, that helps in removing the bone on the inside. When they're on the skull, of course, there's a, a bone that, part of the skull that goes up inside there. So this one still has that bone within it. When it's soaked for a couple of days or three, then this becomes a little more malleable and flexible. And by tapping this with a hammer, on a firm surface, little by little, you can loosen that bone up and it'll pop out of there.